Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Go check out my website at skyazrael.com for life coaching and mentoring. Let's ask five questions and then give five statements. So I got 10 things to talk about. Let's go through it quick. Question number one, you might want to write these down. These are the most important questions ever asked. Five questions, the most important questions that have ever been asked ever. Question number one, who am I? Who am I? That's your identity, right? We hate to hear that word these days. It's become so toxic. Identity politics. What do you identify as? It just sounds disgusting even saying it. But who are you? It's an important thing to figure out. You want to start there. You got to figure out who you are. Question number two. Where am I from? This is a question of your source. You could look at it as your heritage, but don't get confused with what country that you're from or that your parents migrated from. Don't get confused with what language you speak or what race you are or what your skin color is. Where are you from? And if you say I'm from, you know, the west side of LA or whatever neighborhood you're from, well, where were you f from before that? Go back to the beginning. Number three, most important questions ever asked. Why am I here? Oh, I've asked that question a lot of times. <laughs> I've asked that question at the grocery store, at the laundry mat, at the gym, in church, in court on dates, at the DMV, I've asked that question so many times, why am I here? <laughs> but it's a question of your purpose. You see, we have to start with your identity and your source in order to get to your purpose. If you don't know who you are and where you're from, how are you going to figure out what your purpose is? Why am I here? Number four. What can I do? And ask yourself that a lot. What can I do? I ask myself that every single day. What can I do towards bettering myself? What can I do? That's a question of your potential. Everybody has got potential. You're most likely only operating it at half your ability, if even that. You may be only operating at 10% of your ability. And you got 90% left in you. You got a lot of potential. Final question, most important questions ever asked, five questions. Where am I going? It's a question of your destiny. You want to know what your destiny is? Figure out where you're going. So those are big questions. We could spend an hour on each one of those. I could do a five part series, in five hours, and just answer each question. Just ponder this stuff. That's why I want you to write it down. Now let's propose five statements. Number one, everyone wants success. I don't know if everyone does. It's hard to speak in all or nothings. I mean, it sounds good when you say it. Everyone wants success. And you think, yeah, probably. But we could always figure that one person, that happy hobo in the alleyway who's just like, eh, nah, I'm not interested. <laughs> all he wants to do is just sit there and drink and get fucked up. He may not be interested in success. You could be sitting there with a lottery ticket and a Rolls Royce, keys to a Rolls Royce. A mansion, and you'd be like, nah, no thanks. So I guess there are some people out there that don't want success, but I think for the most part, everyone wants success in something, just overall in their lives. I talk to a lot of people, and I've yet to meet anyone who says, nah, I don't want to be successful. I don't want success in my life of anything. Well, you can say the word success so much to where it doesn't mean anything. Let me tell you, number two, these are statements 
success is predictable. You can predict it. You could tell me your daily habits, and I can tell you whether you're going to be successful towards your goals, reaching your goals. You could tell me what your business plan is, and I can tell you whether you're going to be successful. I could take one look at your relationship with your wife and tell you whether you're going to be successful. Success is predictable. You can predict it. There's a path to success. You can take that path. You can repeat it. Number three, failure is also predictable. Success is predictable. Failure is predictable. We can predict failures better than we can predict success. Everyone's good at predicting failure. <laughs> That's easy to predict. I'm supposed to be a failure. I've been told by multiple people that I'll never be anything in my life. All I'm ever going to be is a failure. So I guess it's not always easily predictable. Some people are wrong. <laughs> it's always fun to prove people wrong with this one. But there's a recipe for failure. You want to fail? You can do a few things and you can guarantee yourself failure. It's interesting to know that because you can be guaranteed success as well. Once you understand this, the game becomes a little easier. Let's go to number four. These are five statements. God wants you to be successful. Some of you get very offended when I talk about God. And you troll me when I mention God as if I'm so stupid. <laughs> so you can think of the universe, whatever spiritual energy that you get down with, that wants you to be successful. The universe wants you to be successful. Number five, the world is designed for you to be successful. You have food everywhere. We have trees providing us with air and wood and shelter, shade. We have a whole planet of abundance with stuff around us that we've been smart enough as a species to manipulate and to use towards our betterment. You have a whole world outside that's designed for you to be successful. So think about this stuff today. It's a good thing to think about for Labor Day. There's 10 things. That's a lot. Thanks for watching.